Hello, good day viewers. Um, let us work on one of the applications of differentiation. In this tutorial, we want to find the ratio of the height to the radius of this cylinder at its maximum volume, given that the total surface area is equal to m pi. So we need two important formulas. One is for the volume and the other one is for the total surface area. For the volume, you know it is the area of the base multiplied by the height and the base is a cycle. Area of a cycle is pi r squared multiplied by h is pi r squared h. So v is equal to pi r squared h. Then for the total surface area, which is given as m pi, m pi will be equal to the two cycles areas is now going to be equal to 2 pi r squared then the cup surface is 2 pi r h so look at the first equation the first equation is expressed in terms of the radius and the height but I know subsequently because we want to find the critical points we have to differentiate v with respect to either r or h so in this second equation we can make either r or h the subject plug it back into the first equation differentiate and set everything to be equal to zero so for the second equation we can make h the subject so let me name this one one two for the second equation we can make h the subject 2 pi rh is now equal to m pi minus 2 pi r squared. Since we are looking for h, we can now divide each term by 2 pi r and h is equal to m pi over 2 pi r minus 2 pi r squared divided by 2 pi r. Let us simplify it here. We have h equal to pi will cancel pi leaving m over 2r the minus the whole of this will be equal to r because 2 will cancel 2 pi will cancel pi r squared divided by r is r we can make this a single fraction h equal to m minus 2r squared over 2r remember if you rationalize this it is going to be r divided by 1 for common denominator we can multiply the top and the bottom by 2r this is going to be 2r squared m minus 2r squared divided by 2r so you can see that h is equal to this but from first equation we have h so instead of h we can now substitute it with m minus 2r squared over 2r from that equation so from equation one, you can see V will now be equal to pi R squared instead of H. We have M minus two R squared over two R. This single R will cancel one of the R's here. Pi R multiplied by M is pi R M, the minus pi R times two R squared is pi, okay. 2 pi r to the third power divide by 2 we have v here so now let us find the critical point by taking the first derivative of v with respect to r we have dv over dr remember m and pi here are constant if you differentiate this you have pi m minus we have 3 multiplied by 2 is 6 pi r to the 3 minus 1 is 2 divided by 2 so now we want to set dv over dr to be equal to 0 and hence pi m minus 6 pi r squared over 2 will be equal to 0 if you multiply both sides by 2 the fraction will be cleared up and you can take negative 6 pi r squared to the right and it becomes negative we have pi m equal to 6 pi r squared pi will cancel pi 
r squared will be equal to m over 6. Now let us continue to the other side to find the value of r. r will be square root of m over 6. So r is equal to square root of m over 6. But remember this can be written as square root of m divided by square root of 6 if you separate the roots and you can multiply button on the top by root 6 to rationalize the denominator and this is equal to root of 6m divided by 6 so this is equal to root of 6m divided by 6 now we have of 10 the value of r which is root of 6m over 6 we can now substitute it back into this equation to obtain the corresponding value of h So h will be equal to m minus 2 multiplied by r squared. This is r. If you square it, square will cancel square root to the top. We have 6m. Divide by square the bottom, you get 36. Denominator is 2r, which is 2. Multiply by the r is root of 6m over 6. Let us further simplify. h is equal to 6 can go into 36 6 times and 2 can go into that 6 3 times. So this will be m minus m over 3. Um, 2 can go into 2 1 time and 2 can go into 6 3 times. But we can now multiply and take the reciprocal of this multiply by 3 over root of 6m h is now equal to 3 multiplied by m is 3m minus m is 2m over 3 um, if you multiply with 3 over root of 6m 3s will cancel finally you can see we have h to be equal to 2m over root of 6m now we are able to obtain the radius and the height, but the question said we should find their ratios. So their ratios is going to be H to R. H to R will be equal to, what is H? 2M over root of 6M to root of 6M over 6 so we can now take this divide by this to the lowest term is said to be the ratio of h to r so this will be 2 m divided by root of 6 m then we can multiply and take the reciprocal we have 6 over root of 6 m this is equal to 2 m multiplied by 6 is 12 m if you multiply these two times, they are exactly the same. Therefore, the root will cancel. We have 6m here. m taking care of m. 6 into 6 one time. 6 into 12 two times. Finally, you can see we have 2 over 1, which is the same thing as h over r. h is equal to 2. r is equal to 1. h to r finally is 2 to 1. So the ratio of the height to the radius is 2 to 1 at the maximum volume when the total surface area is equal to m pi. So this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.